So, Jeremiah, I spoke with your father about his art. So yes. now I want to talk to you about what inspired you and how you got started with your art. Well, art was always around me. Mm -hmm. And my father really nurtured my vision. Okay. Uh, so while so many households just look at art as a hobby and as a luxury, um, as, I, as I grew, I realized that art was really a necessity. It wasn't just about creating decorations, it was about creating declarations, declaring that we must be free um, from the vanity that we see. So it was important for me that I would reflect the beauty of the Heavenly Father's creations in my work, and I wanted to do so in a way that um, not only entertained, but enlightened. Okay, so what, what age did you say you, you were that when you started painting? It was around three or four. Three or yeah. four. Okay, so you, you would say this is your passion? It is. Okay. All right, so we have here, tell us, um, what, what, what is this that we have here? What are we looking at this evening? This is an oil painting called Lift Every Voice. And I was actually commissioned by the Richmond Peace Festival in 2017 to create this image. And I'm showing that peace is the continent. In a perfect world, the microphones would be the monuments and the voices would rejoice to our promised sin. So I'm showing how the world would look if everyone was on one, one accord under the truth and laws of the creator of the universe. And this piece could actually be in any room of the home because we need peace everywhere. Right, absolutely. So um, is this an original or? It is, it's an original oil painting on canvas. Oh. Yeah. All right, um, so you already told us where would be a good place to put this. So you said basically we could put this anywhere in our house. Yes. Uh, wherever you feel like you may need peace, yes. you can put the peace sign in our house. <laughs> um, right. and, and this is great. What I like about this is, um, it took a lot of thought. Um, the world, you know, the microphones. Um, I like this. I, I really like this piece. I like the colors. The colors are vibrant. They jumping off the screen. I don't know if you guys at home could actually see the depth of the colors and things, but this is very, very vibrant. Um, it's a, a wonderful piece. Now, um, tell me, if someone's interested in getting your piece, where, where can they get that from? Well, if they want art on their walls, they can just give me a call. And if they need work for their home, they can get a Jeremiah Jones at the art of JJ at gmail.com. Great. All right. And that was Jeremiah Jones, the art <laughs> of JJ. Of JJ. <laughs> All right. So we're back with Jeremiah with another painting. Um, this painting here is a nice painting. So tell me a little bit about this painting. It's called Adam Sneakers. And this is also a piece with a message, and it was inspired by the first man on the earth, Adam. And typically when you see shoes on a wire, usually that meant, that meant someone died in that area um, or was, was killed in that area. And Adam, in many ways, he, he lost his life the moment that he disobeyed the Heavenly Father in the garden. So he was walking on a tightrope because he was trying to be in two worlds at the same time. He was, he touched the tree of the knowledge of food and evil. I mean, he touched the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, but he also wanted to stay within the Heavenly Father's favor. And what I'm showing is, it's dangerous living between two worlds. You can't serve two masters. Absolutely. So um, we want to stay on the right side. So I, I'm showing the tree. I'm showing the tree of life on the right side, and this, the, this is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So you have that cold world on the left, and you have that golden that golden time of day on the right. Yeah. Okay, so that's great. So, so for the folks at home that are watching, um, 
if you don't know the story of it, he just put the story of it right here. Um, and, and I agree with the, the shoes up there. When I saw that, I was like thinking it took me back to New York because in New York we have the same thing. Mm. Um, although, you know, I didn't know that's what it stood for, but um, I just thought people were just throwing their shoes up there because they didn't want them. Um, but um, this is a great uh, uh, photo. So this is oil paint as well? That's an oil painting on, on canvas. Okay. Yes. Now, with, 22 with, by 34. 22 by 34. Yeah. Okay. So if someone was to purchase this, what would you think would be one of the best places in a home to, per to, to put this? And okay. like I said, it's a message piece. So maybe it's, maybe they want to put this one in the uh, children's room. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, okay. that'll be a great place to put it. I mean, I might they want to let them know they came here in two worlds. You know? Right, and that's a great yeah. message. That's a yeah. very, very good message. Um, let's talk a little bit about the colors. Of, the colors are just again. I keep saying that the colors are like jumping off the screen. Um, now, actually, and I, I, I and the details. Add, the the details. shoes were the shoes were created in oil, and okay. actually, the rest of the painting is in acrylic. Oh. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is what you would call mixed media. Yeah. Mixed media. Yeah. Okay. So it's um, it's a combination and And how long does something like this take you? It took about two or three weeks. Two or three yeah. weeks. Okay. So you have so so do you do you just come up with it and then you just start painting? Um, well a friend a friend of ours name He's an artist, his name is Julian Green. He, he curated an exhibition called Shoes on the Wire. And, and actually it was called Sneakers on the Wire. But in my opinion, um, these shoes, these Adam sneakers, I mean these Adam shoes, these Stacy Adam shoes wow. oh, <laughs> would be, to me, like if I thought of what Adam would wear, the first man, what he would wear today, I wouldn't think he would wear tennis shoes, but I would think he wears something similar to mm. the Stacey Adams shoes.